This is the BenQ EW3270U, a 4K monitor with some interesting features and design choices. BenQ sent this one over about a month ago and I've had a while to just play and mess around with it before having to send it back. Reviews take time guys, I can't rush things. If you're interested in this product, link in the video description down below. Now let's see if this product, this monitor, is worth your hard earned money or not. Let's get started. Straight out of the box, you get the monitor itself, an HDMI cable, USB Type-C cable, and a power cable. The build is made of dark gray plastic. It feels durable, doesn't creak as much as other monitors, and has bezels that protrude out a little bit, giving it a boxy corporate monitor vibe. It has a stand that lets you change the view angle, and that's about it. No fancy spin moves here. The back has a VESA mount if you want to mount this monitor on your wall, and comes with a nice selection of ports two HDMI ports, a display port, a USB Type-C, a headphone jack, and, well, an AC adapter port. Oh, and the monitor itself has two built-in speakers on the bottom, just in case you don't have your own dedicated speakers. Also, the stand that it comes with is actually one you had to put together, so be prepared to use your IKEA furniture building skills. The BenQ EU3270U is an interesting monitor, and by that, I mean it has features that other BenQ monitors also have. It has an ambient light sensor that adjusts the color and brightness of the display based on what it receives. If you don't want that feature, you can easily turn it off by pressing the button up front, which also controls its HDR capabilities. Now let's get a little bit into the beefy specs of this monitor. The monitor is a 32 inch 4K VA panel display with 60 Hertz refresh rate, four milliseconds response time, has free sync support, 300 nits of brightness, 95% of the P3 color gamut, and supports playback of HDR10 content in their HDR mode. With beefy specs like this and a large display size, this monitor is clearly targeted towards a type of person that would utilize the large screen real estate to see every single little pixel and use its color space as well. The menu system built into the monitor isn't amazing. It's a little rough on the edges, but you get used to it pretty quickly and comes feature packed. Backlight bleed is pretty good. So let's talk about what I think is great about this monitor. Monitors come in many different sizes and resolutions. 4K at 24 inches would be a little too pixel dense. You'll be squinting real hard to see everything or having your face smushed against the display to see all that crisp 4K detail. 27 inches is perfect for something more like 1440p, allowing you to see everything at a good viewing distance. Now, at 32 inches, I think that's the perfect monitor size for a 4K monitor. At this monitor size, you can enjoy all the 4K detail even laid back in your chair, which is nice for the lazy ones of, of us. The colors are nice and the HDR feature is a great bonus. Sure, HDR content isn't everywhere, but this could be useful in the near future. Because of its sheer size, you can double this monitor as a TV as well. 32 inches, that's a small TV. You can use it as a TV. The image it displays is also crisp and its customizability in the menu is great, allowing you to have lots of features and options to optimize this monitor how you want it. The inclusion of USB Type-C is great for those people with laptops. Now onto the negatives. This monitor has a VA panel, which means there will be some color shifting. However, the color shifting itself isn't bad at all. It's very minimal. The stand, as I said earlier, can only change its viewing angle, and that's it. I can see people being kind of disappointed with this considering this is a pretty pricey monitor and for some people it just might not be the correct height. But it's a good thing it has a VESA mount that way you can change it to whichever height you need it to be. The overall design on this monitor is very normal. It looks like any other monitor out there with no design choices that help it stand out. For me personally, it's lacking a bit of Oomph. The USB Type-C cable is a nice display input, however, this monitor specifically doesn't charge my MacBook, which means it just slowly, slowly dies. The built-in speakers sound a bit tiny, but then again, who uses built-in speakers unless they absolutely have to? And if you're paying this much for a monitor, you're probably in the market for buying good speakers as well. All the ports on the back are downward facing, which makes them a little hard to reach and plug things in, so I don't suggest you plug in and pull out plugs all the time with this monitor. So overall, what do I think of the BenQ EU3270U? Well, it's a great monitor with an interesting feature set. It's well-rounded and has all the features its competitors offer, as well as a few extra ones. It also comes with a light premium because of that. If you're looking for a feature-packed, I want everything monitor, 
this $700 monitor might be for you. If you want a little less, there's options out there too. Anyway guys, what do you think? Was this monitor good? Was this monitor bad? If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, and well, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.